What up, it's Snowflake, and I'm going to show you some Final Cut Pro basics tonight. Um, Malagax, one of my subscribers, asked me a question, and I think I understand this question, I'm not sure, but I'm just going to throw this video up there anyway. But this is just some basics on time code and duration of clips, and I'm going to show you what these different values and numbers mean in Final Cut Pro. So on your timeline and your sequence, over here you'll see these this number here. And this is your time code. Uh, this shows the time the length of time that is on your sequence. And when you're working with time code, it always starts with the number one. This can be changed in Final Cut Pro, but typically it's gonna start with one, right? And so when you're at one, zero, 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 you are at the beginning of your sequence. The next value is gonna represent your minutes, the next one is seconds, and the next one is frames. So right now I am at 40 seconds on my timeline, right? There's also values along the top edge of your timeline, okay? And this is just a rough estimate as you're going along, you can see what these values are, right? Okay, cool. Then in your viewer, if you open up a clip, double click and you open up a clip in your viewer, there's two different number values up here, right? So the first one is the duration of the clip. Now, this one doesn't start with one. If the clip was only 30 minutes, it would say zero, zero because this is the, the actual duration of your clip, right? So the duration of the clip is one hour, 34 minutes, 43 seconds, and three frames. But the number on the right side of the screen shows you where you're at on that clip. And again, this is not starting at with one, that's gonna start on your timeline. Your timeline starts with one, but the clip is just gonna show where you're actually at in the clip. So we are at 59 minutes, 14 seconds, and 16 frames, okay? And the last numbers that you gotta be aware of is in your canvas. And in your canvas, it's gonna show similar number values uh, to actually to both your viewer and your timeline. But because your canvas is what you're looking at in your timeline, it's got two different values. The first is right here. And this value shows you, again, the duration of your timeline. So it's not gonna start with a one, it's gonna start with, how, it's just gonna say however long your uh, timeline is. So my timeline, there's only this amount of footage on the timeline, five minutes, five seconds, four frames. And then over here is again where I'm at on my sequence. And because it's the timeline and we're working with time code on that timeline, this starts with the number one. And so number one is the beginning of the clip, right? So here you can see that I am at 40 seconds on my timeline. So hope that was helpful. Um, some Final Cut Pro basics. If it was, make sure to like the video and comment on it. And then check back later for more tutorials and tips on Final Cut Pro, Apple Motion, and Compressor. And don't forget to subscribe, yo!